Rugged, lush green landscapes, dramatic scenery and moody skies, just some of the things that create this island's captivating beauty. Join us as we explore the Isle of Skye. In this video, we hunt for dinosaur footprints, visit the fairies in their glen, and hike over a sleeping giant. We really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, why not hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. We arrived on the Isle of Skye by Calmac Ferry from the Isle of Lewis into the port of Uig, full of anticipation and ready to begin our adventures. Welcome to the Isle of Skye. We are on the hunt for dinosaurs. Are on the hunt for dinosaurs. And I could not be more excited. 166 million years ago, a megalosaur strolled along the mud here, left its footprints. Time took its toll and left them for us to discover today. Yep, fossilised dinosaur prints. Um, Bonkers, you, isn't it? Absolutely, and actually there are several places on the Isle of Skye that you can see dinosaur footprints, but apparently this is the most accessible and easy location. This is Ancoran, Ancoran Beach. Near Staffin. Yeah. Um, actually, we've been um, on the Outer Hebrides for uh, over a week now. Um, check out the rest of those vlogs. Um, and we've said a few times that it seems Jurassic Park-esque, doesn't it? You know, the beaches mm -hmm. and the mountains in the background. And this really is like Jurassic Park. It absolutely Let's go and is. find some dinosaur footprints. It's fun searching them out, isn't it? Yes, we've seen a couple of things and we're not quite sure if they're just... Holes. Holes in the rock or... <laughs> I figure you'd know it when you see it. And it's good because there's no sign like saying, here be dinosaur footprints. <laughs> in a West Country accent. <laughs> I've just seen, um, there are a couple of other groups of people also searching out dinosaur footprints so I've been asking them have you found any um, and a lady very kindly told me yes she had and she said it was by a big stone and two little stones so <laughs> that's what we're going to go and look for now. Is it a dinosaur footprint or is it just an oddly shaped rock? Who knows? I mean, it does look like um, an, an, yeah, it a, does. Um, an ornithopod. <laughs> does it? I don't know. You're very familiar with ornithopod <laughs> prints, are you? I mean, you can see kind of there, like three, one, yeah. two, three. One, two, three. Maybe. It's very difficult to find them. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite funny though actually isn't it? It's quite good fun like searching it out. I've, I found a, a photo on Google uh, where somebody has found one and I'm comparing the like the landscape and the rocks with mm -hmm. that. And we think this is it. But this, the, their picture is sharper. Okay the hunt goes on. Okay, viewers, <laughs> we are close to finding the dinosaurs. Um, so I found a circle of rocks strategically placed around what looks like a socking great big dinosaur print. You've got to look at them the right yeah, way around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why else would someone go to the trouble of... Yeah, they very kindly put these around, didn't yeah. they? To be like, here be, here be dinosaurs. And just to give you some scale, here is my foot, and here is the dinosaur foot. We found another. This is of an ornithopod, which is a, a bipedal herbivore. Um, you really sound like you know what you're talking about there. I am di dino expert, <laughs> not at all. Um, but this is this one's amazing to think that that's been here for like 166 million years, and now we get to walk in the same footsteps. Would you like some fascinating facts about these dinosaur footprints? Yes, please. Excellent. They were discovered 
only as recently as 2002 can you believe it by a lady walking her dog she found a fossil she took it home she was like check out this fossil i think it's a dinosaur footprint um, and then more and more were discovered and eventually they found i think it's something like 17 footprints here um, and like max said one of them began uh, one of them belonged to a megalosaurus i mean how cool does that sound megalosaurus that sounds mega in 2016 these foot very footprints sparked an international manhunt um, and the police of the island were chasing someone in a camper van all over the Isle of Skye because apparently he had poured a uh, plaster of Paris or whatever it is that you put in a mm. thing to get a mold um, into the footprint to obviously get a a cast of it and um, everyone was very worried that they were going to ruin the dinosaur footprints because they've obviously been here for you know millions and millions and millions of years but eventually they will be eroded away over time so definitely come and check them out while you can this has been really fun it's an exciting thing to do search for dinosaur footprints isn't it um, in case you want to come and have a look for yourself and you don't want to spend the time looking and getting your feet a little bit wet I've done a what three words location for the three really good ones that we found and I'll link them below just in case but I recommend just searching for them at Staffin Dinosaur Museum, you can see incredible fossils found nearby. Species including Stegosaurus, Megalosaurus and Hadrosaurus have been identified in the area. The museum is open 10am to 1pm, Monday to Friday, and it's £4 for adults and £2 for children. A family ticket is also available for £10. The really friendly guide in the museum also checked our photographs of the footprints that we'd found and verified that they were in fact dinosaur footprints. drive down the road from um, Staffin Beach where we were hunting for dinosaur footprints we've come to Kilt Rock um, as you can see behind me it's quite a popular spot um, it's a fantastic 60 meter sea cliff with like rock columns on top of uh, like horizontal sandstone layers as well it makes for a tremendous view there's actually a waterfall as well that just plummets off the edge of the cliff it's fed by a lock just up there um, Low flow means um, that you can't really see much of the waterfall. I imagine when it's been pouring down with rain for a long time, the waterfall is pretty spectacular. We've certainly seen some amazing videos and, and, and photos of the rock as well. But um, it is a great viewpoint and you can see all the way over to the mainland from here. And today is a beautifully calm day. Kilt Rock is so named because the huge columns of basalt that make up the cliff, when viewed from the lookout platform, look like the pleats of a kilt. The waterfall that plummets 55 metres from the cliff edge into the sea is Mielk Falls, one of the few rare examples of waterfalls that fall directly into the sea. We are off now for a day of adventuring. We've got lots in store, the fairy pools, the old man of store, etc, etc. We have parked up and we are walking to the Fairy Glen. It's about a 30 minute walk or a five minute drive from Uig. Car park is really busy, so if you can walk here from Uig, definitely do that but we're just gonna head off into the valley and see if we can find some fairies. Just kidding, I know fairies aren't real, uh, so I'm gonna go and look for some pixies and sprites. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> you press the record button, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'll catch you fall to the death. <laughs> 
We haven't even made it into the Glen proper yet, but it's a cute place. It's really lovely. There's like, it's like a little bit like Teletubby land. I don't know about fairies. Maybe it's like Teletubby Glen. We have climbed to the very top of Castle Ewan, which is the big rock formation in the middle of the Glen. Giant rock. Great viewpoint. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really good viewpoint, actually. It's worth a little climb up. Um, I think we came up the more treacherous way. There is an easier way, mm -hmm. but it gives you great views, doesn't it? It really, really does. It, this is a very, very popular spot, so I would recommend trying to come either first thing or last thing in the day if you want to avoid all of us tourists. I think last thing in the day, would be beautiful with like golden hour but I reckon that might even be busy. Um, it is a popular spot but you can see why because it's beautiful. which really feel like a hidden gem because we are the only people here. This is Ra Falls. It's a five, even that three minute walk from where we parked the car and these are absolutely spectacular. So if you're into things like cold water swimming and jumping into pools like this, this would be a great spot to do it. I'm not, so I'm not going to jump in, but there are ropes over there as well. So I imagine if you swim across, climb up the rocks at the other end, you can swing off and jump in. It's like fun. We are on the road. We're on the way to the Old Manor store, which is a destination we wanted to go to for quite a while. 
the weather's cleared up, hasn't it? It has. It's absolutely lovely now. So fingers crossed for some nice weather while we are climbing the old man of store. It's about an hour and 15 minutes there and an hour and 15 minutes back. So it's going to be a good test of our tired legs. Yeah, our legs are really tired, but we've filled up with lunch and we're ready to go. start a workout on my watch so we can figure out how far we are going to go. Are you ready? It's, it's locating me. Oh okay. Let's go. <laughs> progress and it is very yeah, steep <laughs> we're so slow. it feels like we're making good progress um, but it's very steep and very windy in places you get the odd little bit where it's really sheltered and then the wind comes back and hits you yeah and the two things I hate the most in the entire world <laughs> climbing uphill and wind so Scotland it's a good thing you're pretty true <laughs> Having a little halfway snack. They're only 68 calories are, it's not gonna do much, is it? It is not. No. I need to eat the whole cake. <laughs> A big pointy one just behind, behind us. Me. Legend has it that is the giant's thumb. The giant was buried in the landscape here and his thumb was sticking up. I'm not sure why he put his thumb up. <laughs> um, but it's well worth the hike. It um, feels like the weather's closing in on us a bit. Yeah, we, so we're we not going to hang around, yeah, are we? We're going to start the hike back. <laughs> yeah, but definitely worth the hike. Um, and this just views for days, isn't there? Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please leave us a thumbs up drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and pop notifications on so that you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures but for now thanks so much for watching bye <laughs>